This video for Breaking Down the Ring is brought to you by Chawla Legal Group Estate Planning. Estate planning is for everyone. Whether you're worth $4,000 or $40 million, estate planning can help protect you, your family, and your assets. To register for an upcoming free workshop today, go to chawlalegal.com slash workshops or call 586-273-7157. Hurry, seating is limited to six per workshop. I think the wrestling in AEW is great. I can't knock it. I think that the matches, the singles match with Omega and Shima, I think from from double or nothing. These are matches that I can sit back and go, that was really good. SCU and Lucha Bros, you know, uh, the triple threat tag team, the six man tag match uh, that was going on, especially with the uh, the psychology that played out in that match. With the whole I, Spears been Allen. I am not. I am not in any way, shape, or form happy with AEW structure. And that being said, is the way they put on the show. So. You have the triple threat tag match, right? You have the Dark Order. You have Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. Um, you have best friends. No, it was uh, Angelico, Angelico and, and uh, Jack Tra- Evans. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, so you have these three teams. Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy come out with Marco Stunt. I'm fine with that. Marco Stunt gets involved in the match. The referee says, you're gone. Luchasaurus looked at the ref and said, no, he's not, and then used him as a prop to throw on the other people. As is after Marco Stunt Evans. got involved with the, the Hurricane Rana from the top, which is a great spot. And it's a triple threat tag match, so it's not like I'm mad that there's no disqualification there. Because there's not. It's a triple threat tag match. There's no DQ in these. Um, hence why there was no, no rope break, anything like that. You know, it, it made sense. The minute the ref says go... And the wrestler says no, I now have a problem. Because now there is some sort of, infor- which we've wanted, which I've complained about these last three pay per views, last two, even Double or Nothing had, we were like, well, they kind of let the Bucks and the fucking Lucha Bros go like crazy. That shouldn't have been a lot of count outs that were just avo- avoided. Um, but now a referee is invoking power, and the wrestler said no. Marco Stunt never fucking left, he didn't come back mm-hmm. later. Your ref he just loses never all credibility. Yeah. At point. It, it, now all of a sudden that referee makes no not fucking sense. Not even ECW did that. Right? Doesn't matter. I, 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 no, I'm saying like not even ECW yeah, did right. that. So you're looking at this going, what is this ref for? Then there is another match. The SCU versus Lucha Bros match. Christopher Daniels moves the fucking ref so that he can hit a move. Yeah. And the ref doesn't even DQ him, that, that team. Like... The, he did I understand that they're giving referees uh, leniency. Uh, leniency, yes, is the word that they're using. But it makes no fucking sense. I can't watch this match and go, okay, this is going to well, No matches. The first time a match ends in a DQ in AEW, you're going to be like, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. For real, though. Yeah, yeah. There's a, you're, you're, you're going to be pissed off about it because no ref has any credibility. When they say leave, they can stay. When the ref, when the fucking outside interference happens on a team that's in there, regardless if they won or not, and it would be even worse if SCU won, Christopher Daniels hitting a fuck that, uh, what do they call it? There's something moonsault. BME. It's not, Best no. moonsault ever? Uh, no, it's the, something else. But I moonsault? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm done talking about it. The inside I'm moving forward. Yeah, was, right, moonsault. Side, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was that fucking moonsault. Um, I moonsault. He hit it and moving the ref out of the way. No, there's. I'm sorry. That credibility is gone. There is. I'm watching this match. And I'm hearing the, the best thing they had for credibility was the actual count out between Allen and Cody. At last pay-per-view. Right? There is nothing I can get into in this match because now I don't care. Mm-hmm. There's no rules. There's no regulation. Even ECW, like you said, Smitty, which was built as no rules and regulations, respected the referee. This is something that, look, I, I will never take away from the in-ring product. 
Omega and Shima, spectacular. I thought Bucks and Cody and Dustin, great match. The psychology, dude, it seemed... So did anyone else look at this at Sean Spears like he, and just look back and go, man, he just seems confused. Like he doesn't have any fucking idea of what's going on. Sammy Guerra at one point had Darby Allen down in the corner and then started attacking everyone else on the outside and then went back to Darby Allen, who was not being touched, who then... It's, so I'm what, confused. I can't follow a product where there's no structure. I will say that match was actually the one match I thought was a complete shit show on a sh- on on uh, in, in, on that whole card because it, it seemed like everybody was just everywhere. And I think the only thing that the only good thing that came out of it was some of the pro- uh, some of the story building that's going to probably lead to the uh, Sean Spears Cody match at all out. Outside of that, that match was kind of everywhere. I. The the thing when they, when I get taken out of a match because of what they did in those matches, I can no longer say this is a really good match because I'm not invested in it anymore. I was telling Smitty earlier today, I got to Kenny originally, I got to Kenny and Shima during Kenny's entrance and I turned it off. I knew everyone said it was the best match on that card and watching the entrances because of how annoyed I was with everything previously, I turned it off. I turned off a pay-per-view knowing what the best match was. Eventually I watched it, and I agree, best match on the card. However, nothing, nothing should make you turn off a pay-per-view when you know the best match is coming. Like, I'm pretty sure that I would have even just switched over to Evolve if I was watching AEW's Fight for the Fallen Live and not watching Evolve. They got to learn how to use that word leniency more because if that's or how to their pull back on it right well if that's their idea of leniency well then fuck that because no one's like you said going to take that shit seriously i mean if leniency is okay well you start your 10 count with the dudes are outside a little late or you know what i mean you, that's how i took it but sometimes they don't start it at all right right so when you're looking at it and you're making these comments like you said you want to turn it off i hope no that not they, want to i did well, i turned it off they better make some adjustments in, real quick. Instead, also of, giving, third, fourth show, let's, let's, let's instead of giving them leniency, why don't you just make it a 20 count and have the ref count slow? Yeah. Like, yeah. Lucha well, well, yeah. Underground yeah. did that thing too. I, and then, I mean, as far as the DQs go, you're absolutely right. You, you've lost all credibility in your ref, and your ref, whether you like it or not, is like your ring chief. He's yeah. the one who runs the whole show. He's the one with the earpiece in going, all right, you know what I mean? Like, he he's the on the fly guy. Like, okay, we're gonna do this, or we or this is gonna happen next, whatever. But if if you don't pay them any respect, right? Like, uh, I think it was like the first time Bret Hart pushed Earl Hebner. And Earl Hebner got in his face. Like that gave Russ credibility. But if you push the guy and he goes, okay, you can do what you want. You're gonna continue to do it and right. use it. You know what I mean? Like, and let's take it to the Brandy and Alley match. When Awesome Kong interfered in that match, the ref wasn't looking at it. Correct. So it was like, yes, it's just like any other wrestling show that you sure. watch. If the ref doesn't see it, they can't do anything about it. That's fine. Christopher Daniels saying, excuse me, move over so I can jump up and hit this fucking top yeah. rope and move over. But I, I do have a question because now I didn't see all of that match. Mm-hmm. I didn't see that part in particular. Was it? Like a fuck you, get out of my way. What, what no, 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 no. Was it like a polite? It was like it was it was like a polite way. It was like you're in my way. I need the. I yeah. need the space. But I mean, okay, now I'm playing hockey, right? Mm-hmm. And the ref gets in my way, and I move the ref out of my way to get to the puck because we're going the same like, the same kind of concept, um, or somewhat, or just deliberately like pushed him and then hit his. It was, it was actually the girl ref. It was Aubrey. Yeah, it was Aubrey. Um, so, uh, so yeah, he moved her out of the he, way. He kind of politely moved out of the way. Like, like I need excuse the space. me, I have to hit this move. I, I mean, I, I would have to see it in in right. the context, but it, to me, from what you're explaining, that doesn't seem that bad to me. No, no, I'm not talking about him moving her. I'm saying that he was not involved in the match. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dan, it, 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 it was wasn't three and three. It was two on two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not that he moved that, the ref. It's that the ref was okay. watching him hit this move. Yeah, I, I forgot Daniel yeah, wasn't it, involved it, in the match. Then it was like another three minutes before she actually ejected him. 
it's it, well, she and had that's because not, she was startled, and that's not even something that's an injection worthy. That's your team's disqualified now. Mm-hmm. Your well, team has an 100%. outside help. Well, so, I mean, no, at the well, very go, least, going back, to, going back to that leniency, if you don't want to stop the match with a DQ, you can still eject. Right. Him. Yeah. And at the very it, least, it still, you it get still, it still took like another three to five minutes where he interfered the second time when she ejected him. Well, especially in a world where they are making it clear that wins and losses fucking matter. Right. So, but at what point? Right. At what point do they matter? Like when they go weekly, episodic TV show, or what? 